bless you seven I'm back okay so I want to talk to you guys today about something besides men and relationship and stuff like that okay um I want to talk to you guys about setting goals okay men and women set goals because if you don't set goals you wander your life aimlessly you wander aimlessly you don't you'll end up with anybody doing anything and get any type of result okay and then your life is like whatever you know so if you want a life that you planned that you see in your future in 10 years a good life you got to make plans and goals if you don't make plans and goals you'll just drift through life and accept anything anyone and then your life will turn out like like you shopped in the junkyard okay because that's basically what you do um, versus planning out what your room is gonna look like buying nice pieces that match you know having a uh, you know looking at inspiration and ideas to decorate versus going to the dump and just picking up some stuff and throwing it in your house okay that's how the difference is when you plan and set goals rather than just flowing through life okay you want your life to look nice you want your life to look put together like you know you did it on purpose not like oh I just found this crap and threw it in my house no you don't want that oh you know um, I found this lamp in the junkyard it don't really work but it's all I could do no you want to write down your goals you want to plan out your life you want if nothing sticks to your plan like if, if you do something and it doesn't stick to your plan you don't need to be doing it you just need to stop and do something else that works towards your goal for example ladies if you're planning on being rich owning your own business you don't lay down and have babies with a loser okay that that don't that does not fit into that equation okay men if you're trying to you know go to school be um, you know a lawyer doctor whatever go to medical school laying down with some woman getting her pregnant and leaving her because you know she's gonna come back for child support it's not helping your plan okay also you know if you're if ladies if you're out there looking for a financially stable man who has this this and that you can't be dating broke men on the side while you're still looking for rich men okay because you're sending out the wrong energy like uh, you're still entertaining broke men you know you're supposed to only be entertaining men that are what you want just like men if you say oh I want a good girl who's this this and that not materialistic and blah 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 but you're steady chasing behind women who are you're never gonna find that type of woman okay does not you know and they don't look they're not gonna look the same as the other women look and what and ladies these certain men aren't gonna look the same as the type of man you want to marry they're not gonna look that way you're gonna have to get over that okay um, I think I saw a meme on Facebook and it said uh, certain women will challenge you because they know their value okay certain men will challenge you as well because they know their value and if you don't like challenges in relationships then you know you're gonna have to understand that that's just how it works so setting goals for career okay if you're setting goals for career and your friends call you up oh let's go to the club let's hang out let's go drink let's get drunk let's go get some women and you got to be up in the morning to go to school or you got to be up in the morning for a meeting or you got to be up in the morning to do your job and you still go call in late that's not helping your career you know what I'm saying or if you're at a job and you want to become management and you start having sex with all the employees there you know that's not good for your career either because once you fall out with one of them then they're gonna get mad try to get even and dang you're fired you know what I'm saying so only make decisions that are going to benefit you in your future you know think two three times about the choice you're getting ready to make and how it's gonna affect you in 10 years okay think about it because a lot of these people don't think and they don't use logic when they do things in their life and then they wonder why their life is so messed up 
because you didn't plan your life. You didn't make goals for your life. They did a study and they said that people who set goals and plan earn way more money than people who don't. They did a study and they did, uh, they said, I think it was 9% of the people out of the whole group planned and made goals. And they made more money than all those people who didn't. They made what all those people made together, one person made, okay? Uh, let's say we had a group of 100 people and nine of those people made each made more money than all of those other people put together okay because they set goals and they planned so we have let's just say mm, ninety one people who didn't plan to make goals for their life you know they're all making minimum wage working fast food waitressing doing da da da, da. And then we have the, the other people, the nine people who planned and set goals, and they're making like two, three hundred thousand dollars a year. Okay, that's what you call living with purpose. These other people over here, they just went where life took them. They took anything that was given to them. They didn't plan. They didn't save. They didn't work towards goals. They didn't do nothing but drift. And where they ended up is where they ended up, okay? They didn't have any backup plans. They didn't have any uh, value about themselves. And so they just ended up where they ended up, okay? Then we have these people over here who took everything and planned it, made goals, accomplished goals, made new goals, didn't steer from their path. And if they did, they got right back on it because we all make mistakes. If they made a mistake, they fix the mistake and then they get back on the path, okay? You don't sit there and let more mistakes pile up. You get back on your path. You discipline yourself. You get what you need to get in order to get to that next level, okay? You And if you're hanging around losers and people that are not going in your same directions, they're gonna pull you down, okay? So you need to get around people that are moving up in life, okay? And a lot of people will hang around people that aren't doing good and they expect you know to do good themselves but you just that doesn't work you have to go and either be alone or find friends that are like-minded you can't stay where you are and expect to excel okay now for me you know I know a lot of people I know a lot of you guys are like oh you use the gold diggers you don't know no if I wasn't in the right place at the right time doing what I was doing accomplishing my goals I would have never met my husband Okay, if I hadn't gone to school, graduated, gotten a job, um, was on my way to work, I wouldn't have met my husband. No, if I wasn't dressed in a nice business suit, looking looking good and smart and intelligent and like I had myself together, I wouldn't have met my husband. If I would have let like stayed with my loser ex, gotten pregnant, had a couple babies, didn't go to school, didn't graduate, didn't get a job, you know, laying at home. I wouldn't have met my husband. So yes, ladies, it is important to stay on path, have goals, make a career, blah, blah, blah. Even if you quit that career, get married to a rich man or whatever, at least you accomplish something that you can always fall back on, okay? At least you accomplish something that he can actually brag to his friends about. Oh, my wife used to do this. Oh, my wife was that. Or my wife is this. Or my wife is that. You know what I'm saying? Like. My husband brags on me all the time. So, you know, I think as women, we get pulled in many different directions. You know, oh, if you don't do this, you won't fit in. Oh, if you don't uh, go with this guy, you'll never get another boyfriend. That's not true. That is not true. Because I've had plenty of losers come up to me and I rejected them because they were not in my, my plan. I can't see you as my husband who's going to provide for me. I can't see you as that. No, I can't involve you in my goals. I can't involve you in my plans because you don't fit. Okay, you can't do that. Okay, just like men. You know, if you see a woman that you know is not wife material and you go and sleep with her with no condom and she ends up with your baby, you understand your mistake. Okay, 
And just like, you know, men, you have to stick to your goals. Men have weaknesses, and so do women. But we have to be self-disciplined if we want to be the type of man or the type of woman that the type of man we want or the type of woman you want will want. If you understand what that means, you can't be a loser and want a winner. You know, you can't be a winner and get off track with the loser because they're just going to take you down. Okay? Think about it. You marry a loser that came from losers whose family is losing. You're going to be paying their rent, their family's rent because their emergency comes up. Oh, my, my, my sister, my mom might, might need your help this month and they're going to suck you dry. So it is best to get with someone who's also a planner and a goal setter, okay? Don't think because I sit up here and talk about how I don't have to work and do all this kind of stuff that I never set goals and plans. My, I planned everything out in my life, okay? I manifested things to be and plan and set goals, okay? You don't think I ran into someone uh, just, you know, out of the blue because I was, you know, chilling in the club and not going anywhere in life I was going to work I was going to my profession you know what I mean so I don't think he would have approached me if I was dressed like you know trashy and not going anywhere and just trying to hang out no he saw that I had purpose okay which I did <laughs> he saw that I had purpose and potential and you know it wasn't just some average you know, whatever. Okay? So I'm going to leave it at that. Y'all make y'all's plans. Write them down. Don't stray from them. If y'all want a good life, you got to plan it out. Right? See y'all later. Bye.